Hi, and thank you for tuning in to Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 13. I call this episode Candy's Commute. I, Candy was a beautiful young black lady that used to get on my bus out in Beaverton, Oregon. Now, Beaverton, Oregon, for those of you who do not know, is a suburb of Portland, Oregon. And I used to drive a bus route that used to go by Nike, the Nike corporate uh, complex. And it's huge. It's beautiful office buildings out there and a whole bunch of rolling green land. Look like it should be a uh, uh, putting uh, like golf course. Matter of fact, I think they do got a little mini golf course out there in Beaverton and Nike town. But anyway, Candy used to get on my bus. And Candy, there's so, my bus was used to be packed with uh, executives that worked at Nike and, and, and all walk, walks of work at Nike, from people that worked in advertising to people that worked inside the, multi, the media department. So, but Candy got on and she used to wear these beautiful silk suits and she had this beautiful, big, black Ferragamo black bag that she used to keep a laptop inside of. I couldn't help but notice her because she she was just immaculately dressed. She had beautiful nails. She'd get on the bus and her nails would all be all kind of beautiful different colors. I'm a guitar player, so my my nails don't get but so long. I don't let my nails get but so long because I was impressed. You know, her nails was just so beautiful and long and manicured and 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 and, and, and uh, like she got them done in a professional in a salon and you know her hair hair was all up and and and, and neat in a bun and and she just 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 beautiful skin just and, and just always wore these beautiful high heel uh, pumps and she wore a lot of expensive honey she the, the girl was lay okay everybody working nike uh didn't dress like that they usually just you know oregon is kind of laid back the office workers here don't always get dressed to up you know they wear blue jeans and 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 button downs and and blouses and slacks and stuff. They don't wear dresses and power suits and the stuff that she was wearing. You know, she was looking like she was from back east uh, in, in from one of them corporations on Wall Street or, or something. You know, <laughs> she, she wore power business suits and stuff. So anyway, she got on the bus and she was she felt the need to let me know. She said, hi, my name is Candy and I'll be riding with you today or something to that effect. And I said, well, hi, I'm Angie, and I'll be your bus driver today. She said, it's nice to meet you. It is good to see women of color driving the bus out here. And I said, oh, well, you know, wow, thank you. It's good to be out here and enjoy the ride, you know, something to that effect. And she sat down, and uh, she got in, the, like, the middle of the bus, and she, she opened up her laptop, and she was, you know, typing on, on her laptop, which made me further think, that she was, you know, working at Nike as an executive or something, just a, you know, and she was the only one, only sister, you know, that I, and it was just, it was just good to see her anyway. Her name was Candy. So Candy gets on the bus and she opens up her laptop and she's on her laptop. And every once in a while, she'll put her laptop down and she'll uh, lean over and give her business card to one of the young men on the bus. And uh, I didn't, I, I was curious what the car was. I didn't think nothing of it, you know. And uh, she gave away maybe four or five cards and to different men and didn't give none to no women. And then she got off the bus. And so then she got on the next day and she did the same thing, was beautifully dressed again, all dressed up in a suit and laptop and stuff. And she had my curiosity coming. And she got off at Nike, by the way. I left that off. She got off out there in Beaverton at Nike and um, with the rest of the executives at the crowd. And I was so curious. I wonder what she did. And I wanted to strike a conversation with her, but the bus was so packed and she sat so far back. Well, the next day she got on the bus, she got up close to me, which was cool. She was up in the, the first section of seats that are, you know how you get on the bus, and you have the driver, and then you have like a little area, and then you have the first set of seats that are turned sideways. Well, she sat in the very front seat the, the, the second day, and she had her laptop open, and then, but, but she did again. She put her laptop down, and she said, excuse me, sir. She said, uh, how are you, sir? And the guy said, oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, and she said, are you all right? And he said, yeah, I'm fine. And she said, here you go, sir. I want to share this with you. And, and don't, 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 don't look at it until you get off the bus. And she gave him a card. And I was like, what? 
And, you know, I was like, well, why can't he look at it till he get off the bus? I'm just curious. Now, now I'm being nosy. I'm like, well, what, what's the, the secret? And she didn't say that to every guy. Then she gave a, gave a card to another guy. You know, she gave another card to another guy. And she rolled a little while. was on her laptop. You know, and I was like, how come she's not giving a card to every guy? She gave another card to another guy. And I was like, what's with this lady's beef? And then we get to Mackie Town thing, get to Nike, and um, everybody gets off. Well, just about everybody gets off. So then the third day, this lady gets on my bus. And I'm really, really, really intrigued. Now I'm like, okay, I want one of these cards now. Okay, I'm just curious. You know, I don't want to make her feel uncomfortable. There's no rule against giving away cards. You can give away cards. You can do business. She she wasn't a, it's a soliciting anything I, that I know of. I don't know what she was doing, but the third day she got on the bus and she gave a card to, away again, the same routine, hair up, swoop. Well, no, her hair was down the third day. Her hair was down. It was beautiful. And she had on this beautiful uh, uh, pinstripe suit and, and, you know, she had on these beautiful pearl earrings and necklace and stuff. And she had this big black, beautiful, I was in love with the Ferragamo bag, y'all. Y'all should have seen this Ferragamo bag that she carried. Oh, my God. It was beautiful. I love Ferragamo, though. I'm a sucker for Ferragamo. Okay. So, anyway, she had the laptop again. And she get up and she, excuse me, sir, how you doing? Are you all right? Oh, okay. I'm just checking to see if you're all right then. She riding on her laptop, you know. She, are you all right? Well, here, let me give you this. Okay, I'm just checking to make sure you all right then. You know, <laughs> on her laptop, and I'm like, okay, let me. I am just totally, you know, what what's going on? But let's get to Nike uh, corporate complex, and she gets off again. I was like, okay. And some of these guys work at Nike, I, I guess. I was like, so I don't, I don't know what she does for a living. But she got off the bus, and then uh, there was a couple guys on the bus that that, that still had a that, that that were on the bus, and I noticed one of them had a card, and they was laughing. And I said, "Excuse me, sir, what is that card that the lady gave you? Can I see the what 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 she asked you was Are you all right? What what's what what is she some kind of a?" Uh, a social worker or something. He said, here, you ought to see for yourself, bus driver. And they bust out laughing. And they gave me the card and it says this. For a sweet date, message candy at deliciousTimes.com. <laughs> deliciousTimes.com. And uh, I was like, wow. <laughs> I thought she worked at Nike. I was so proud of my young sisters, you know. Oh, my God. That is so crazy. DeliciousTimes.com. I'm telling you, you see it all on the bus. So thank you for sharing Candy's Commute. That was my story, Candy's Commute, episode 13. Thank you for uh, watching Word From Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. I'll see you in about a week or two for the next episode. And you know what I've been thinking, y'all? And please, 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 share the video. Like the video. Matter of fact, when you come to the video, you should be like automatically hitting like. Like automatically smash the like. You already know what it is. You already know what time it is. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Share the video. And I'm thinking about... And, and tell me down in the comment the section so I'll know. But I'm thinking about sharing the video or doing a video a week. Doing it every week. Like maybe every Sunday I come out with a video every Sunday morning. It's brunch around brunch, you know, every week. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. Are y'all down for watching them every week? If I come out with them, are y'all going to watch them? Okay. All right. Thanks for watching now. Comment below, really. I want to hear from y'all. I don't hear from y'all. I want to hear from y'all. If y'all down, I'm down. I'll start doing a story a week. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.